Hello, all my beautiful Virgo friends. Welcome to your September 1st through 15th, 2020 reading. This is a collective reading for all Virgos, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. You'll notice on my website there is a button to check out the memberships. So if you want to learn more about the memberships, you can also explore that. And soon you will be seeing my stores link so that you can go and buy the, the cards and the different things, the stones, the crystals, all of the things I'll have. As many as I can find that I already have on here, I'm going to try to pull into the store. So I've also got some other cool things that I have found. So in a few weeks, maybe in the next week, I hope uh, we will be on and popping. So, with that being said, let's get on with the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek, all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much for your presence, divine. We're going to start off with the five of rods, which can mean competition. We have the empress energy. Oh, the sun. So don't worry about this part because the sun is here. <laughs> That's an opportunity of a lifetime. With the Seven of Wands telling you to hang in there. Don't let the little skirmish ruffle your feathers. We have the Magician. Beautiful energy of manifesting your best possible life. With the Seven of Cups, which means blessings and abundance. And the World card. So you do achieve what you set out to do. Even better, I think, than you expect. Then, in Career and Finance, we have the Ace of Cups, always a blessing of the universe coming in. Your Virgo art Major Arcana here, showing that you are being given the path. You're on the right path with the King of Cups, which can be an offer or a heartfelt gesture. Someone really with authentic energy wanting your best for you. So we have the Four of Wands here, which is a beautiful energy of stability. Um, it also means good family unit or connection. And for some of you, it may mean marriage is in the cards because that is what this card stands for. Love to have that beautiful little altar there, a little gazebo. And let's see what we've got. So we're going to start off with the Five of Wands. This can mean a challenge being, you know, faced or an inner uh, conflict. It can also mean competition. So it's not necessarily a bad thing because it it does not mean it's not a big skirmish. It's just a little resistance. Then we have the Empress, which is the Divine Feminine. This is the energy of being empowered. This is a creative energy. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy from Source coming in to help. This is the seed. This is when things start. Is when the when the seed is uh, impregnated. So. The Empress here is talking about the, the idea being formed or the new thing coming in. Now, when I said the word impregnated, I just want to tell you that in tarot, some of you may be having that happen. And not everybody. This is a general reading. So, um, these two cards side by side, they do mean fertility in, the, in that kind of way. So, uh, the sun is the opportunity of a new life coming in when it's next to this empress like this. Now, in spite of that, it can also mean a new beginning or an opportunity of a lifetime. So this is the divine alignment of the universe coming in to help you hit the target or have the new beginning in such a way that it is an awesome new beginning. And I love how the sun on this uh, scarf is, is pulling in that energy as well. So the seven of wands is telling you don't give up. Do not give up five minutes before your miracle. Seven of Wands is saying hang in there. Now we've got the manifester here, the, the magician, breathing in beautiful white divine light from his crown chakra into his heart and making that heart energy 
the manifestation energy. That's the way to do it without causing yourself any karmic debt. When you have the beautiful energy of a heartfelt uh, beginning, then it's not any malice or anything that's going to cause anyone else any harm. So that's how you should manifest. We've got the Seven of Cups here, which is the dump truck load of blessings that I'm always going on about. This is a uh, being inundated with all these wonderful things simultaneously. And the only caveat to it is that it all happens at once and it feels very overwhelming, but it is a beautiful energy. Then we have the World card. So this is the actual achievement of what you're manifesting. So that's a beautiful story right there. So this is bringing in, she's a champion. She's standing in her highest, in the divine light. And the divine light has elevated her up to the top of the world here. So very, very wonderful energy of the world card stepping into the next cycle. For some of you, it will be for a new beginning in life. And, and others of you, it will be a new beginning of life. Now we have... The Ace of Cups, which is the energy of divine blessing. This is an approval of the universe for exactly what you need. You've got the cycles of the moon here for the new beginning. The all-seeing eye with the knowledge of the universe, the Akashic record. And the beautiful Holy Grail, which is the container of the DNA or the elixir of life. So every living thing that exists is in that cup. And the universe is saying, absolutely, let me bless you with this cup. Now, you have your hermit energy, which is your Virgo major arcana of staying on your divine path and seeking your, your, your new beginning here. You've got the cup to start with. So then we have the king of cups. Now, the king of cups is an authentic person offering something good. It can be a job, and it can also be someone really just wanting to assist you. For those of you who are already in a place where you you don't need a job <laughs> this is someone who cares for you and wants you to have what you need and if others of you it's a job if that's what you're if whatever it is that you need this person's here to help you so king of cups authentic energy let's see what the clarifiers have to say my virgo friends thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here Something just flipped. To assist all my Virgo friends, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. Making sure something else didn't flip on me. Ooh, nine of cups. So we've got the nine of pentacles. This is, hey, September is the nine, right? So two nines together. Wheel of fortune on top of the sun card, guys. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. That's really great, Virgos. The two of coins. The Knight of Swords, very fast moving energy. The Ten of Rods. The Knight of Pentacles. Oops, I'm knocking everything crazy. My Virgo cusp is making me have to make it all line up. <laughs> the Empress, once again, so that's the second Empress we have. The Page of Pentacles, which is a financial offer or stability. And the Five of Cups, which means moving forward in a new direction. Nice. We have the, this is the, this stands for a document of some kind. It usually means something official. Okay. Now for some of you, it's a marriage license. Uh, for others of you, it is uh, probably something to do with a job. And it can have to do with owning some property because this kind of stands for a you know that four corners of a house besides we have this 10 here so this is this whatever this document is something you've probably been waiting for could also be test results just got that pretty clear from my guides five of wands 
beautiful energy of overcoming an obstacle literally because you believe that the universe is conspiring in your favor you call that energy in remember that you are in charge of your manifestation so your belief is key here that nine of pentacles is literally money growing on trees that's what happened in the garden of eden they had everything they needed not necessarily money but food and anything we have the empress energy with the beautiful energy of, of creation whether it's intellectual or physical. We have the Nine of Cups, which is your heart's desire being granted. So some of you, this is really a beautiful reading. And then the Sun. I mean, it's a really beautiful reading anyway, but somebody's, uh, somebody's creating a baby. So I'm excited for them. We have the Sun card, which is the, the promise of the fruition of it and the new beginning. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> which means uh, the breakthrough is happening. You've got the, the conspiracy of the universe to create this vortex for this new life or new creation. This is clearing all obstacles, all things that stood in the way. All red lights turn green, all doors open, karmic debt is paid in full, and all things that... Uh, would have stood in the way just dissolve and, and move out of the way and when the doors open these are even doors that you didn't realize were there like they show up out of nowhere all of a sudden they're vis visible they're visual <laughs> they're visible and we have the seven of wands which is telling you hang in there don't give up five minutes before your miracle and stay focused this is the two of pentacles telling you you don't need to worry about everybody else's drama or chaos in the world Focus on what you're doing and what your goal is and receiving your abundance. Now, there's the magician telling you stay focused in your positive energy. And very fast moving, this comes in like a lightning strike out of the blue. Blessings, blessings, and more blessings. An avalanche of blessings. Then we have the ten of rods, which means... Moving in a new direction, moving into a new location. It means that all this new abundance and new growth is happening. So sometimes this means someone working for themselves. But it can mean uh, working for someone else and just changing locations, moving to a new place. The world card is the promotion, uh, the new cycle, stepping through the doorway into the new beginning. It's a very happy moment. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, which means everything that you need uh, abundance or anything else will be provided. The Knight of Pentacles is on his way already to dispatch that to you. The universe has allotted it and it's already being delivered. It hasn't shown up yet maybe but it's coming. So the blessings of abundance from the universe, the beautiful Ace of Cups, always a blessing from the universe when it's the Ace. Empress, again, abundance, abundance, and more abundance, lots of creative energy, and that Ace of Cups is the energy of creation, and she is the inspiration for creation. So if you've been having any kind of, somebody, uh, there's, there's somebody watching that's had some kind of energy block or writer's block or feeling stuck, that's, that's gone, that's, hap that's going away, it's, it's, this is amazing energy for, for unstuck. So you'll be back on your path and feeling like you're moving again. Um, you've got this page of pentacles, which is the financial commitment being made, either by someone or the, you know, the money's coming to you. This is literally being offered. And the king of cups, which is usually the person doing the offering of this. And you have to remember that things may change in how you do this, but you still have the abundance and that castle right out there in the in the horizon so don't stay so focused on what used to be let it go and move forward many blessings to you my Virgo friends this is an amazing reading lots of creative energy blocks being removed you're very happy and blessed so I don't think you could get any better than that <laughs> many blessings my sweet friends I'll see you again in the middle of September namaste